All up here in Maryland, got Andy, and we are at Cookies. We're at Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> we got a, we got a, we want to have a couple guests this morning. Um, we're going, we got Kirk, Kirk's with us right now. We got, yeah, yeah, come on. Look at, look at that. Let's and get, let's get the front camera going so they can really appreciate his truck there. Hey, look at this thing right here. Look at that. Don't get run over by Ralph. Ralph's backing in on us. <laughs> Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Burn. Good to see you. There we go. Look at that truck. Isn't she a beaut? That's, this is, I remember. I remember these. these. Dad had had one when I was. We gotta wait on Ralph to back up, and then we're gonna go in and grab a seat and get some breakfast in us. Got a little free in the tree. Oh yeah. It's fun to drive. So that I bet there's people on there that have never seen it, never seen the, the shift pattern. Yeah, the three on the tree. That's yeah. not an automatic shifter. That's a that is a standard gear shift. Yeah. Hey, we couldn't see you over the truck, Ralph. Morning. Y'all want to squeeze on by? Thank you, sir. Yep, y'all bet. Squeezing in there. Really, Kirk? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna squeeze over there. Can you get every? I'm mad. You wanna? You wanna try to? You... Oh, yeah. My truck just turned on. Can you turn your truck on, boy? It did. It has a mind of its own. Uh -huh. Well, hey guys, there we go. Is, this is Ralph Driscoll. Ralph, Ralph is one of my subscribers, longtime subscriber of my channel, and he has been tremendous helping us out and getting us the kind of the lay of the land. You know what you got? Has introduced us to everybody we've been able to look at. Hey, uh, this is Taylor. Hey, Taylor. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. What are we drinking? Coffee, please. Coffee. Coffee and water, please. Yes. Uh, water and orange juice. Okay. Thank you. I do an orange juice, too. Yeah. He did, just, a, did that, just so you would feel like an orange Yeah, I don't drink coffee. Thank you. I didn't start drinking coffee till I was like 35. Yeah. We're still in it. Oh, yeah. It's winter time up here, guys. We got up to 20, 40, 40, 40, 40 degrees here. Winds outside right now. Right about, they're gusting like 30 miles an hour. We plan on putting the drone up over at the site today. Get some, get some images. But, uh, it's going to be a challenge. But we've got the green light coming. Uh, we're going to do that today. So heck yeah, we're excited to be here. And actually, we are in Pasadena, Maryland. Lakeshore. Lakeshore. Lake Shore. <laughs> All right, we're we'll be in, in, we'll be in Pasadena. Once you get past McDonald's, you're in Pasadena. See, and that's the way it is. That's the, these, and they're just really in your tight. Fort Smallwood Park is Pasadena. All right, we're in Lakeshore and we're going to Pasadena, so. It's all Pasadena. Same zip code. <laughs> we're just, we're, 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 we're just kind of, kind of south of the city. It's, it's pretty, the bad thing about where we're going, which has a, a great view 
Ralph uh, introduced us to the whole staff over at the park. And those folks have been phenomenal. Everything that they've done over there has been um, super. The wind's going to be right into our face. It's blowing just about out of the north. And it's going to be right on top of much like it was today. We were with the live stream yesterday, we did. And uh, saw the waves, and that, it, it, it was rough. A lot of sea spray coming up with the hit that beach area right there. So, uh, we're going to do our best to let you guys kind of see what's going on there from a, a little bit of a different perspective than what you have maybe seen in other media outlets, mainly the mainstream, the mainstream groups. See, Ralph has turned us on this, and we got over here, and it's. it's it's a it's a view that, that I'm excited to be able to bring. Question for you: Get the Taylor Hamster. Is it? Not the pork. I'm trying to pork roll the hamster. Okay, they don't have pork roll like Taylor Hamster. Can they see me? No, they can't see you. You wanna? Go say hey. Say hi. We'll turn. I'll turn it around and I'll pull it over to me. All right, here you go. Say hey and introduce yourself. This is Taylor. Not Taylor Swift. Not Taylor Swift. Maybe I'd be rich. She's the owner. The beach is the draw her out. But there's there's a cookies in Baltimore proper too though. Right? Well there used to be. She had three of them. Oh really? Yeah, okay. So, she's got now. so she's scaled back for retirement? Well, she scaled back for years ago. Okay. I know she has one right up by where you keep your so. Okay. Right yeah, up by exactly. that oil farm, where that oil farm is. Yep. You get on the bridge. Yep. And then there's one up Ordnance Road now owned by Coney's <coughs> Grove. Um, yeah, this is a staple for this. He did, change, oh, sorry. he did change the name. So it's Tony's now, or is it she, still she changed. Her name's Tony. So she changed the name to Tony's. Oh, she did. And the other place is the Royal Farms now. Okay. Well, I got I got chipped on that, and I <laughs> look, at, look at the difference in these cups. <laughs> well, she brought she brought you two. <laughs> so you got to be my dog. Sir, do I need a minute? Ready? Ready? We're, doing, we're doing separate or what we're doing? Ralph's buying, right? No. Just, put, just put, put everything right here. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. You have fire off. Y'all are closest to the Taylor right here. Uh, two over medium. Uh, sausage. Patties. And a side of sausage gravy with a biscuit. You going? Yep. Over two eggs, over easy bacon, white toast, and home fries. Yes, sir. What? A single. Uh, uh, biscuit gravy uh, with grits. Okay. Maybe throw a little cheese in those grits for me. Please, Taylor. Yes, uh, sir. Thank Your you. sausage is a patty or lean? Both. Which one? Get the patty. Can I do a uh, scrambled eggs with um, sausage and uh, rye toast? Yeah. Fries. Oh, home fries great. Anything else for you guys? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. She's right smaller. I think that'd be great. Next time you come up here, get Sal McCockley on the up here. Um, I had a little correspondence with, with him. Uh, he's he's kind of working in D.C. this week. Oh, nice. And, uh, oh, he's kind of bound up on some things. Okay. Uh, he's, he's, he's planning on coming. Yeah, well, have him come down here. Be nice. I was watching him. I was watching you. I watched you before, before him. Did you let him know that? What? Sal, you let Dr. Sal know that you're watching Andy before him. 
Well, it was because Andy was, before him, Andy was in when the Golden Ray tip show was. Well, it's not, it, our then, channel's kind of got started at the same time. Of course, he's seen incredible, oh, incredible yeah. success Virtual. with uh, covering the, the Ever, Evergreen yeah. and the, uh, Forever Given. All that you made yeah, Evergreen. Thing. That's when you, you know, started. All through COVID, you, you guys remember where's the toilet paper and all that. You know, his... He, he did a, such a super job explaining that whole system. So you guys just cover the, the states mainly or just East Coast? And I mainly cover at home. This is the first time I've really ventured out. I've told Andy that he needs to become the Jim Cantori of Marine. Yeah. I told and him. If something happens, mm -hmm. just go. Yeah. Just go. I tried to get Andy to come up years ago. He's got the perfect oh, no, demeanor for him. years ago with the, with the ever forward. Yeah, I mean, and that was, a, that was, if y'all remember, like that, that, that little incident, little mudflat excursion, mm -hmm. that was three days, shut four days, waiting to get, to get the ship off. You, you got to wave and let them know we're here. <laughs> Who we got in there? We got Tiger, Coffee's Kathy, good. David, Main Girl, I think Geechee Captain's been in and out. There's a bunch of them. Good morning. Everybody was joined. Hey, good morning. We're, gra we're grabbing breakfast before we head over to the park. Going live at 10, right? Going to 10 o'clock? That's, that's the intention of the live at 10.30. Uh, okay. we, had, we had some issues yesterday, and uh, we want to make sure we get there early enough today. We kind of set up and kind of made a run through. You got to ask myself. Don't want any issues when we get started. It wouldn't be able to bring you guys. When did it? Uh, pretty decent experience. Okay. Maybe learn a few things. Maybe we'll, hopefully you'll oh, we'll let him drive it. I'll let him drive the real truck. Yeah. That's the uh, Ram out there? Yeah. Right. I don't have a wallet. I don't. Yeah. They're, they're asking if I have a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I actually just carry, carry everything like this. If you notice, I hope I don't get pulled over because uh, <laughs> I don't even carry, carry my license half the time. Well, you're being chauffeured, right? Nope, I'm the chauffeur. Oh, you are. Wow. Knock on wood, I haven't been pulled over in like 12, 13 years. So how's that hound arrived? It's nice as Andy says it does. It is. It is. It is. I, I grew up in the Rust Belt. I, there's a Ford plant. My brother's actually a systems engineer at Ford Motor. Um, there's a Ford plant, there's a GM plant, and all that. And yeah. Driving something that's not domestic does kind of burn a little bit. Yeah, I come from a medium family up in New York State. Yeah. Is that, were you from like where they built the... I'm from Cleveland. Cleveland, and then Youngstown, or uh, Lordstown. Were you near there? Uh, I mean, Lordstown is probably... Hour and a half. Oh, okay. Because that was the key outlet that was there. I remember when I was up there working for U.S. Um, Express Global. Okay. I rode by there. Yeah, yeah. They were just they were closing it because they stopped building the cruise. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you guys something. What's uh, what's winter weather like? Here. I mean, how, it's, when, when y'all get your first snow, when you get your last snow, it's pretty much the same as the rest of Northeast for the first cold, but we don't get a lot of snow. We haven't had snow in quite a few years. You know, we, we get a little bit, but it's not. But we're due. We're just, I'm thinking about this project out here and how things move forward construction wise. After, after the salvage is completed, they start being held. Potential for delays, you know, whether in any construction site, big project like that. So there's so many, you can't pour concrete, you know, you you know there's just so many things that they can Of course, it's at the end of the we're beginning of summer now. So. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know that, I don't know how much more. Of it. They got months of cleaning. You know, they may have to. It's going to be open in two weeks. Two weeks. That's what they open. say. I mean, the bridge is going to take three years to build. Yeah. It's a lot of material. And it'll look nothing like it does now. Yeah. I just hope, I just hope people. I, I thought you were quoting, uh, what was that movie? What was that movie? Um, God dang it. Tom Hanks. Money Pan. Oh, yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Towner. Yeah. And Ralph Towner was the, the electrician. Oh, yeah? I, Two I, weeks. Uh, I, was, uh, yeah, yeah. I know what they've said for their, for their timeline. 
discouraged to each other. I hope people don't get discouraged when it's not two weeks. It, it, you know, because listen, I experience on a daily basis the delays, problems, issues. I mean, there's a lot of moving pieces and parts in the that It's like yeah. mechanical issues, uh, and then you know, big weather. You know, you start, you get some. Uh, it's blowing 30 right now. I would be reluctant to put my crane in. It's not just the, the bridge structure; it's all the cement and the materials down there. Now, how much of the bridge is going to have to be? You know, because there's still the approaches and everything are still they're, they're still there, right? Yeah. Are they going to have to come down? The, the, the new bridge, there's the new model show that we're going to we're going to completely rebuild everything. So all those piers get come down and have to be dams put in, reboard and roads. A lot to a lot to think about a project. So I watched the video of the Pittsburgh engineer. Yep. And I don't know if you guys saw it, she they had a first class of Pittsburgh and, and they, they combined the engineering and the and the contracting together at the first step. And it saved them right. a couple of years. Work together, yep. you know, work 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 smarter, not harder kind exactly. of thing. I, I had a marine construction company, more on the lighter side, not heavy than that. I know. And it was always interesting when you got plans that they didn't involve the contractor with at all. I mean, there were some hotel jobs where it was like, they would call you up and they'd be like, we completely overlooked this. Yeah. Like, and now we need you here, we need you here like three weeks ago. How much is it going to cost to get you here now because the project's not Right. And yeah, it, it's interesting, like, getting a contractor involved, because I've got friends that are, like, on that engineering side, and it's funny, they'll come out, and they'll be like, you need to do this, this, and this, and it's like, well, why can't I do this? And they're looking at like, I guess you can do that. And it, it just makes more sense, right? Like, on a seawall, you know, I mean, that, granted, that's not going to be a seawall, but it was always funny, on, like, residential seawalls, you have a deadman to hold the top of the wall. You know, the bottom of the foot of the wall is held by the ground in your embedment depth. And then a deadman holds the top of the wall from falling in. And it was always funny because engineers are like trying to figure out how far back you have to go. It's like you got a pool right here. Oh, how do we get around the pool? How do we do this? It's like, everything's accounted for in the pool. Like, it's a drop-in pool. Like, it's accounting for everything. Like, you don't have to worry about it. It's not adding any weight to your wall. Like, a static load, unless it's a highway. And then it's adding weight to the bottom. But, like, it was always interesting, because, like, they, they sit there, and what if it? I mean, we talked about the what ifs, right? Yeah. What if butterflies had this thing? Birds, birds wouldn't fuck with them. Be a bad, be a bad day for a bird. I, I had, uh, I was at PSD school at Fort Leonard. We were what if in something to death, and the, the master sergeant. I like, got tired of it. Yeah. What if butterflies have machine guns? <laughs> oh, I'm good, thank you. Have you guys uh, seen the uh, uh, Chessie yeah. crane and, and, and what what its mission was in like 1968? That, that crane brought up brought up a Soviet submarine. Oh, really? Right. That's the it one was, we have up here. Isn't yeah, it is. So you, you might want to do a, a, a clip on that. Was, uh, oh, you're, you're talking about Chesapeake, the, the 1000. Yeah. Yeah, that was originally built for part of that Howard Hughes project for the Global Explorer. Yep. Yep, and they used it to bring up that Soviet submarine. It was a CIA mission. I just read about it. It's pretty cool. I'll tell you what, what they need to do, get all that metal cleared out and make it so they can get the bottom feeder, the first of our bottom feeder, push that sucker right over there, grab that after they find the um, body. They have, I think they have three, two, yeah, they found one last night. Oh, yeah. yeah, God bless the man. God bless them. They found one of them yesterday, probably while we were down there, about like ten thirty. We were, we were, we were, we were having a discussion about that, uh, about those guys working. Maybe it's something I was trying to talk to someone about. You know, those guys are heroes. Yeah. And I, the construction. I don't know. I don't know if anybody realizes. You're that. talking to the ranger. 
We're talking to the Ranger. Those six guys, those six guys that are, are, are doing them. their job for for, for the, everybody transitioning that exactly. road. The cops aren't in position down there to, to the, for the transit authority to say, hey, get this thing shut down. You know? And they're up there doing their job. And people are just on Facebook putting bombs up there with Dukes of Hazard, Smokey and the Bandit. You know, and I think it's just totally disgusting. I, I got rid of a couple of people because of the Facebook. Because of that. that was a different one, though. The one you said, that was basically different that the one you did with the it was fast and furious yeah that was like what happened who gave over harvey with the early thanks play. harvey thanks harvey and harvey gave 20 bucks helping me out brother i appreciate it i, I gotta Thank get andy you. back at some point <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was like when they had the Loma Creator earthquake. Remember when that, that thing went down on that? Well, you know, we, I, I don't know if I told you, we had one at home. We had, we had, we had a, a, a bridge, bridge strike. Mm -hmm. 15 people died at an orange. The city of near bridge got struck. The brand new bridge? No, the no. old one. The old I'm talking one. back. I was just a child. I was, I was a child. That was a long time ago, Andy. It was, it was, it was. Um, the original, original bridge, bridge was built Abe? in the 50s. Abe Lincoln. Is Abe president right there? Amazon was run by Wells Fargo, Pony yeah. Express style. He brought up something funny yesterday. We were going by Amazon, the fulfillment center. Yeah. And he's like, it's like the old Acme from the movie. And it kind of is, like, if you think about yeah. it. A lot of Cody writing out an order, putting yeah. it in the mailbox. And it shows up. Yeah. I mean, it's fast. It is. Yeah. Take two. Oh, yeah, that, they called that place the Boston Another 20 from the food bus. John, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they, this, they, he makes fun of me. He, cha he changed his name to the food bus because I'm the food boat. And another buddy of ours, Fishman Joe, is looking at buying a bus and making like a, a tiny home out of it. So he was calling it the food bus for a minute. So you have a, a boat? I, 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 I threw a concert in the middle of Charleston Harbor during COVID. Um, and one of the things I didn't like was I couldn't get food out there. I was like, I talked to a couple of the food trucks, and I'm like, I, I'll put you on a barge. You know? Yeah. And like, they're like, ah, no, no, no. And then there was one guy that had a food bo boat in town, but it was on a tri-tune. And um, I called him, and he's like, ah, I'd much rather smoke dope with the homies on the floor. And I'm like, nobody gives a shit what you're doing if you're grilling burgers and hot dogs. Like, do whatever you want to do on your boat. Right. Sell food, and I, I had 600 boats show up to the concert. You figure five, six people a boat. I mean, yeah. you, thousands of people. So you they, can, it's like a barge, and they, they pull up. And yeah. so I bought it off. Of and off I put, the, off the guy. Yeah, yeah. After the concert, not during the concert. I should have. But then I put it on a barge to stabilize it. It no longer meets the state's requirements. Cheese grits over there. Thank you. Awesome. Rye toast. We got rye toast. I got rye toast. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, scrambled patties. Overs. Yep. Uh, do you get overs? Yep, I got Okay. I didn't get potatoes. It's okay. I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, how are you? Good, how about you? Good. Hey, we're on YouTube Live, so yeah. They do the bridge uh, uh, things, like when something happens in Maritime, they come up and. What's it called? Uh, McNorkin Mullet. McNorkin Mullet. From, uh, Georgia. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Hey, it's got the beautiful place. But yeah, so I, I put it on a barge and I lost the ability to sell because it's no longer permitted now. Because the state requires that it goes to a commissary kitchen. Salt, pepper, and leaves? Yeah. 
Okay. So now I just now I just take this off. Okay? Right, we're good. Okay, you guys enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you, Taylor. So now I just take the chaps out and cook with them. Trying to, trying to hide it from me. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's bad. South Carolina is a lot like, well, I think Georgia's kind of a lot serious, but mm -hmm. uh, if you have a, a, a food vehicle, it doesn't matter if it's a boat, truck, trailer, it's got to have access to a commercial kitchen. It's got to be able to get to that commercial kitchen. Derek Craig is kind of a little bit beyond his capability. It's a 12 by 40 barge. You'd have to have a heck of a ramp. And it's a steel barge. It's, I'd have to take it to a travel lift every day. Every day. Put it on a truck trailer. Put it on a trailer. And take it to a commissary kitchen. Wow. So, so you're not doing that anymore? No well, no, what he does. This is awesome. He gets like these really well known chefs that come out from the area and they'll cook stuff. They're just throwing just all kinds of recipes and stuff out there. And then they'll like, uh, hey, you guys want something to eat? And they'll put well, you can give it away. You can't sell it. So you might be riding by the, the food boat to get flagged down and you got a freaking five star freaking now, are you taking donations or? Yeah, I mean, they'll, some people will donate on, you know, Venmo or PayPal or, or what. And then these awesome people here donate and then stuff like that. But that was kind of sort of like the Galloping Gourmet or something where they used to do it and it call people from the, from the, um, Oh, audience to come down mm -hmm. there. Remember that? Yeah. I don't that remember. That was classic. That was old. But yeah, they, um, the most fun I ever had, I bought a barge out of New Bern, North Carolina, and Huck pinned it from Charleston, I mean, from New Bern to Charleston. And, like, the idea behind the show is I want to get it to where I can take the boat and travel and cook with chefs all up and down the coast. Wow. This place has got the best sausage gravy mm -hmm. I've ever had. You've ever had? Ever had. Wow. Careful. You go, you go home and only spitting in your food now. <laughs> It was good. I had it yesterday. It was really good. Um, Waiting for them to get up and make breakfast. <laughs> what hotel did you stay at? Airport Marriott. Good. Okay. Is it nice? Those, those people are wonderful. Good. good. Would you get it off the hot wire? No, he's a rewards member. Oh, okay. Actually, we got over and started talking to the uh, they, they walked us right through the whole the whole process of looking at right there and how to get the rate that we wanted. Nice. Everybody's been wonderful up here with this truck. Very accommodating. No, they're just uh, film, he, he'll live, filming it. Yeah, 10 o'clock he'll be live streaming. Covering it. Oh, okay. North and Mullet. The, um, the text YouTube channel is North and Mullet. Not sure. Andy. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of mean of him, wasn't it? I wouldn't be able to see it from over there. <laughs> yeah. So you're a chef as well? Um. I lost my business, uh, my marine business, going into COVID. Sorry about that. Yeah. And um, so I help a friend grow his company right now. I've been doing it for about three years. And it's a meat business, so I'm in the kitchen with all the chefs. That's awesome. So, that's, how you, that's how you learn. Mm -hmm. So I'm like... Like Andy said, like it's it's a very humbling thing because I'm in the kitchen with a lot of these famous chefs or at these prestigious places, and once they find out about the channel, like they subscribe and they're yeah. like, oh, I love it. And it's like, 
it's, it's interesting because it's just like, you know, my viewers will be like, I've seen this person on the food network. And I'm like, yeah, and I got him on my little YouTube channel. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's a complete floating kitchen. Oh, yeah. Monday, Monday starts the Masters, right? So, I had to send, I said 900 pounds of kielbasa to Augusta National for the Masters. Wow. Yeah. And then I got, um, that's a bunch of sausage. And then the Heritage is after, the week after it in Hilton Head. Yeah. And I got 400 pounds going to Sea Pines for that, and then another 400 pounds going to one of the restaurants right up outside for that. So you you uh, supply food. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, I sell to the Broadliners, and then the Broadliners sell to the restaurant. What is that right there? What? Is that what? Yeah, the back of that shirt. Maple Grove, that's in Pennsylvania. It's a um, drag strip. Gotcha. And um, it's pink, it's for breast cancer. You know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a motorhead. Mm -hmm. I love truck and track. That's my favorite. My friend Tim's building a tough cadet for Poland. And of course, I pulled the grave leaves. They don't go very far. Did he just? Because the class on me is a different thing. They put me in the yeah, well, unlimited class. Andy, I'm going to owe you some money, man. Wow. Well, what happened? What group? I'm up to $79.99. <laughs> Uh, well, you guys know the drill. So you, whatever you contribute, we're passing that on. To, we're passing that on. To these folks. Yeah. This is they're they're at the very start of a, of a difficult situation that's coming coming their way until the sport can get up and back out there. It's not much what we're doing, but I'm, I'm trying to show the gesture we're thinking about, it. and they're going to know that you guys you guys are with. Yeah, this shutdown is bigger than Baltimore. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, People talk about it and they go, yeah, those, those poor guys are going to lose their job. We have to go home for a month. No, let me tell you something. They're, they're, uh, that's like dropping a, a rock into a body of water and watching the waves mm -hmm. come out from that thing. And it's not going to be a month. Even when they get that thing completely opened up, huh? everything has, has to be reopened. Everything has to be re rerouted. There's so much logistics that has to take place to shut down and then to reopen the facility yep. like that. Freaking Harley John's in here throwing money around like crazy. Thank you, guys. There's not much sage. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Taylor. Sage is more of a southern thing than sausage. There's not much sage down here. I mean, here, there's fennel. And it's funny. What are you saying? What's in the sausage? Mm -hmm. Down south, they, they put a lot of sage in breakfast sausage. Oh, yeah. But you can, you can taste the fennel in here. You can see the fennel. I can't taste much sage at all. But we had a, we had a client in Newburn. <laughs> That was from up here, and he wanted to add a little bit more sage to his sausage and then put fennel in it. You want to talk about a great breakfast sausage? Oh, yeah. That was unbelievable. Well, Mix it, she used to it. get it from the Amish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they, they would, you know, basically, you know, raw. You can tell. And then they these are patty. These are like. Yeah. You can tell, because these aren't preformed patties. No. Yeah. So she's bulking good. and cooking it. My mom used to love to come here. She died back in 2019, right before COVID. This is one of the, one of the favorite trailers, Cookie. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she loved it. My grandmother loved it. My aunt and uncle loved it. Who's good now? Main girl? Main girl. Well, Ralph, how, how long your, has your family been in the area? Do you know? I mean, forty. Or 40s? 
Yo, you? We have the your family. No, the family. I'm I'm 65. Will be 65. I'm on the band. But you're originally from Pennsylvania, aren't you? Washington, D.C. Oh, D.C.? Yeah, but that's uh, Washington. So how are you a Steelers fan? Well, I like... I used to be a Ravens fan until the Neal and stuff, and then they went over to... Um, England and the Ravens melt. I said, the heck with that? I said, <coughs> you know, I went over to the Steelers because uh, He's Alejandro. a fan of the Iron Curtain days. Don't let him, don't let him. No, I mean, no, I, I, and I, so now I like anybody but the Ravens. So it's Steelers first and then my second favorite team is anybody. So I was ready to race. I was sharing a story with Andy yesterday. I'm a freshly commissioned gold bar, butter bar lieutenant. So I'm at a a major's birthday party, right? And our colonel walks in, full bird colonel. Mm -hmm. And every year, um, because I, I knew the major from my days in college and our, our, our ROTC and whatnot. So we would gamble a, a case of beer right. over the Brown Steeler game. Okay. I'm a Browns fan from Cleveland. Right. I lose it a lot, so I always owed him Steel City beer. So I'm walking into his birthday, and I give him a case of beer, and the colonel starts asking about it, and he looks at me and he says, I'm an old Browns fan. I guess that makes me a Ravens fan. And I look down and I'm like, I'm like, sir, respectfully, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> yeah, like no, no self-respecting Browns fan would ever say Ever. That. Well, the whole team <laughs> came, right? Yeah. We, um, I was, I was telling him, I was... I was young when that happened. I was, I think, like seventh grade, maybe eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And I remember going to bonfire rallies put on by the Catholic school that people were throwing Art Modell mannequins and scarecrows into bonfires. So Cleveland did the right way. They kept the name. Mm -hmm. Baltimore got screwed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It still should be the Colts. Mm -hmm. I call the baby the Jersey Birds. It's just like the rivalry between the Redskins. Yes, they'll always be the Redskins and then the Cowboys. Yeah. And now I don't even like the Washington football team or whatever they're called. Who the hell? Yeah, so Cowboys are fine with me. That's your team. Who got a number? Oh wow! Yeah. You guys, you guys are too generous. That is one hundred eighty-nine dollars and ninety-seven cents. Look at that number. Wow. Top right. Wow. That is crazy. Y'all are fantastic. Y'all are fantastic. This is on Derek. Oh, that was good, thank you. What an awesome, thank awesome you. work. I mean, you think those guys right there. Yeah. Well, they're not paying for breakfast. <laughs> These guys right here and their generosity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <coughs> Get that big nose in there. Get your nose. <laughs> you gotta get your black eye in there, huh? Yeah, right. Get a black eye. Gravity. Gravity's oh. not just a good idea. It's a law. Yeah. yeah. The old I fell. Literally, I did. The, the I fell eye. Yeah, I, I fell in a, in a hotel room opening day. Oh, wow. 10.30, oh, yeah. 10 30 at night, there was a triangle stool between the bed and the chair. And I didn't see it, and it didn't move when I hit it. 
and went right down on the corner of the granite night. Luckily, it didn't hit my temple or my eye. Or your eyeball, yeah. Just Did you break the granite and charge you for that? No. <laughs> no. But man, I was messed up. Had the same thing happen over Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the quality of the comfort in. Yeah, it could have been really bad. Oh. Yeah, in the, in the eclipse, that happens on Monday. Monday. They're expecting a big turnout out of, out of the park to talk to the rangers. For the eclipse? Yeah. The weather's not so expected to get turnout. I thought Monday. That's three o'clock, right? Yeah. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to see partial, I guess. Yeah. And I was I was gonna go to New York, so, but the NBA screwed me up. Apparently, my 2021 Ford F-150 has the plates on it from the 2015 F-150 I traded in. And, but they've already sent me a renewal three years ago for sticker. So I found out I went to the dump and they said, oh, your registration expired. So I called the NBA and said, yeah, they told me what happened. I said, well, that's your fault. I'm taking a trip to New York tomorrow. You're going to have a hard time explaining that to the guy in the big hat with the, with yeah, the, uh, exactly. with the plate on his shoulder exactly. when he, when he yeah. pulls you over. He so he don't, don't, just say, don't, 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 don't ask me how I know that, but trust me. That's why I didn't go, because of the fines and the account. I mean, yeah, they, they've you know, heard it all. You right? get a prick of a cop. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. <laughs> Are you yeah. going to get it fixed? Yeah, Tuesday having a point. Okay. But I couldn't go to New York because I wasn't going to take a chance. Because you have you have your special bags on there from the Navy. I do, yeah. But Rochester, where I'm from, bigger lakes, they're like they're shot apparently in, in the in the line of the uh, okay. uh, clips. So I was going to go up there. And my brother's got ten acres and he's got a big hill. Uh, oh well. You want to know how terrible of a son I am? My dad came down to work on the boat. I get in the car with Andy and come up here. My dad's still working on the boat, and his house was in the direct line of the eclipse. So he doesn't get to see the eclipse. I'm not there to help him work on the boat. <laughs> oh, you're going to see him when you go back, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, understand this. Dad dude, that's how we all know him. Dad dude would rather this one not be on, on the site. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's he gets he's a lot more done without there than he does with there. Go figure. Holy cow. Holy cow. What is it? Where are we at? I mean, where are we at? Yes. 200 bucks. A little bit higher. No. I'll be in. Two, 205. It looks like 216.65. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Y'all, that's, that is so cool. We're going to get Taylor over here. Somebody else is hitting right now. Teresa tip. There's no Teresa. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We're, we're talking here. What's that? Oh, oh, oh. you're Teresa? <laughs> That's awesome. I, I, I'm talking to the phone. <laughs> we need to, we need to, we need to we, grab. We need to skid out. Get, get Taylor. I'm actually going to break out the... Uh, on this one. Are you? Yeah. All right. Brenda got to, uh, Brenda got to the bank last night and dropped my check for me. That was nice. Thank you, Brenda. You are the glue. I'll tell you that right now. There, 236.65. Uh-oh. Well, put that on the table. Huh? Put that on the table. What's the, what's, what's the, the code? Oh. I was going to lick that plate, but Derek said don't do it. Yeah. That'd be embarrassing. Thank you. Oh, 
eight stars for us today. That was they they want to see the tip. That's what they want to see. Yeah, they like you there. That was a, that was. Well, let's see how much it is. Let's yeah, see they're good people. Four That's people normally if I use twenty, like twenty bucks, so. That's 60. So, give her a 20. Okay. Be good for her. And then put that towards the other thing. Okay. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you how this deal is going to go down. When she brings the check, whatever we've got on that screen right there, it's going to go to her. Yeah. Oh. She'll take breakfast out of it, and then she's going to get the key. I mean, it's, it's coming. I, you guys, this is this this is gonna be a real deal here. Yeah. With, with this thing, with this thing yeah. start to start to settle in. And, you know, people. Well, now I got to drive an extra. We talked to some people in the park yesterday. I got to drive an extra thirty minutes now to make the tunnel or, or the other side to, 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 to get north. And that's gonna add time. It's gonna add expense. But you think about it. Now, I don't have that twenty bucks to go up the cookies. It's going to be yeah. those ripples I'm talking about coming out. It's, it's going to be it's going to be an impact that a lot of people are going to feel. For sure. Well, she'll definitely appreciate that. Newly married. Yeah, you know, that makes me. That, I, I, I hate the circumstances. Well, I think Derek Derek has the same sentiment. And if we can help out, that's what we want to do. This whole, this whole area has just been awesome for us. We've got it back. Oh, they've been great. He's been great. He's been great. Ralph has been above and beyond the top. I don't think you understand, Ralph. Like, hey, I'm glad I caught this. You too, Taylor. They're going to want to say goodbye to you. So we'll get a, we'll get a picture of you at the end. But. She's she's got a full dining room back there. That's why she, that's why she hasn't been paying attention to y'all. So. Oh, somebody just wave. Hi. Just wave. <laughs> so I tell you, so these guys that are here, they've been donating to our to our live stream. And what we're going to do here is whatever that number is versus what the price is, you're going to take that home with you. Today. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and everything you've done, and you've made our experience here very. Very pleasant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Take pride in it, you know? You got your phone? Good to be good to be good. They're on the phone there, so. You don't want to do this. Oh, thank you. We can. I don't. Ask them. Yeah, when you're ready. I got to do math, man? Kurt's got one right there. Fire. Calculator, what do you got? Uh, we got 221.65 minus 83. 32. 32? Yeah. 138.33. 138.33. And there's the 20 as well. 33. Uh, she's walking out here with 158 bucks. And I said, guys, thank you. Thank, thank you all so you. much. Thank you. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. You guys are here with us. You're a part of it. Thanks. So I have a, a billiards room in my home. If you guys want to, that's that's what Ralph. Room. That's what Ralph was. Uh, they're gonna get like, mad if I don't show it to him today. Let's do that. We're gonna we're gonna see. So, let me let me get let me get through the day right now. Yeah, yeah. See how things yeah. bounce around. But that sounds like that's because of y'all. Sounds like that, a good that, that, that number there. Is what y'all gave, um, I'd like to do and that number is going morning, to the restaurant then. And if, if, so we're gonna give that back to them today. Yeah, I'd like to do an early morning, probably about ten. That's the schedule, uh -huh. and then we'll take a little break, and then maybe come back and do one a little later. I need to shoot a, I need to shoot a bunch of video and content like that as I can, so I have it to use in, okay. in my other reports. I'm not gonna be up here all the time. So yeah. right now I'm kind of relying on images from Unified Command and uh, a couple other sources I have. Ten o'clock. Videos and uh, yeah. pictures. And I need to get my own. So I got my Ten o'clock. Yeah. We'll see you. See you guys. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Keep me posted. And